Hey everybody, I've been away from YouTube for a really long time and I've decided that it's time to pick it back up um, for several different reasons. Um, so here I am. I'm glad to be doing these again. Um, so last time I was with you, I did a live pregnancy test. It was negative. Um, I had just had my surgery to open up my tubes and as far as the doctor was concerned, I was ready to go as soon as my next cycle started. And I did the first cycle, it was negative. Um, and I pretty much just left you guys after that. Um, there was a few reasons for that. The main reason being my husband and I went to Kentucky to um, visit our family and friends for the summer. And I just never picked it up after that. There was no, like I didn't want to or um, anything like that, it was just, I just got out of the routine and um, just, I just didn't. So I'm back, I'm excited. I have a lot to share with you guys and I'm excited to do that. Um, so after that cycle, we did try again and I did a live pregnancy test that I never posted. <laughs> and I'm gonna show you guys that now so that you all can see what happened. So here we go. Hey guys, um, it is early on June 2nd. I'm here to do my live pregnancy test, uh, my second one for my second cycle after um, surgery. I've already taken the test. It's in this. Um, I haven't looked at it yet, but I am super nervous about it. Over this past weekend, on Sunday I think, I was having lots of pain in my left tube. Like it was almost like these pulsing, um, just pulsing pains. Like, you know, they're just doing this. They're, they're nothing like regular cramps or anything like that. Um, and it's in exactly that spot. And it's only on the left side. So it really, really leads me to believe that it's my tube. Um, but on Sunday, like it happened all day. Like it really never stopped. So it makes me think two things. Um, first thing, the first thing it made me think was that my tube is closing, like it's just closing back together. I don't know if that is something that you would be able to feel or not, but that's the first thing that it made me think it was that my tube is closing. And then the scarier thought that I had was, well, maybe it's not closing, but maybe I'm having another ectopic pregnancy. The first ectopic pregnancy I had, I didn't feel anything at all, but I had never had surgery on my tooth either, so um, I don't know if the surgery can make it more, um, if it can make it more sensitive or not, so I don't know. So I'm just nervous about looking at it. If it's negative, then, you know, I'm, I'm nervous. I'm nervous that I won't get pregnant because I feel like it's closed back up. If it's positive, then I'm gonna be happy, but I'm gonna be nervous that it's possibly another tubal pregnancy. So, I'm gonna look at it. <laughs> Wish me luck, guys. Here we go. Guys.
world. But I'm gonna go wake him up and tell him that he needs to walk Bane. And I have set the pregnancy test underneath the leash. Okay, I know it's not the most creative, sweet way to do it, but I thought, I thought it would be fun, so. There's the leash. There's the pregnancy test. Okay. Yeah, you are. No, why would I bring it to something? His leash is over here. Well, there that there was that <laughs> was uh, so I tried to surprise him but I guess we just know each other too well obvious but you told me to make you get out Bane yesterday to take out Bane yesterday so anyway we're pregnant it's exciting. We're, we're nervous, obviously. I'm gonna call the doctor today and, and schedule. Hopefully, maybe we can go tomorrow since we don't have, well, we have school, but we have a work day. Yeah. So maybe we can get off early or something. So, yeah, so exciting. All right, we're gonna go do our last day of school. Yay. So that little round thing. Mm -hmm. So I'll take you for a tour. Um, the white around there is the placenta, black is the fluid, and here's the yolk sac. Mm -hmm. Okay? Can, so we can't tell if it's two? It's not two. Dang! I was it's hoping like since the numbers... Because so the woman was telling us that if the number, she wanted the number to be like a 12 to 1500 and it was like 9,000. So I was oh, like, really? well snap. We've probably got like five kids in there. <laughs> That'd be so cool. Throwing around a baseball and stuff. Yeah, wouldn't that be cool if they have like all these kids at once? So yeah, I got pregnant. And um, I'm, I was obviously really surprised and happy. And um, we spent the summer, you know, celebrating with our friends and family about the news. I didn't announce it on like any kind of social media until the first trimester was over. Um, and you know, like I was saying, we just didn't do anything with YouTube after that point. And yes, I'm, I'm regretting it a little bit cause I would have loved to do the weekly updates with you guys and, um, brought you along with the whole journey, um, of the pregnancy and all that. Um, but it just didn't happen. So maybe next time, <laughs> maybe I will do it next time. Hopefully I will. Um. With that said, um, I gave birth to my son Oliver about a month ago and he is just amazing. It's been great. I'm still on maternity leave right now. I have a few weeks left and um, so it's just been, you know, of course an adjustment but mostly just pure joy and I just, I can't believe it finally happened. Like two years of trying and it finally finally happened so do not give up ladies like you will have your baby if you do not give up like there is no like better thing than holding that little one in your arms and I, I know you guys know that but really really I just encourage I want to encourage you guys to just don't give up on your your dream to have a baby because um, there was a time that I didn't think that it was gonna happen like both my husband and I were just like well we're gonna probably end up adopting we looked into adoption and you know how much it cost the process we I mean we just didn't think it was gonna happen and it did even with the surgery like we you know the surgery we still thought was kind of a long shot so 
Um, I'm just really, really thankful that it happened and it happened as quickly as it did. Um, so do not give up. Um, but the pregnancy went great. I had no complications. Um, you know, pregnancy is beautiful and wonderful, but it is hard on your body. Like at the end, you're just like, I'm ready for this to be over. <laughs> um, so it is a blessing. I'm not complaining at all, but it is, it is hard. It is hard to go through um, physically. Um, so what else? What else, what else, what else? That's it, I guess. I mean, uh, this is just updating you guys that I had a baby. Um, he's a month old now. His name is Oliver. And I will do a video introducing him to you all. And other videos about motherhood. So, again, you know, I know this was a video, or this was a channel for infertility. But now that I've kind of moved out of that phase, you know, it's going to be a channel about having babies and being a mom and things like that so um i hope that you all stay with me through that um and you know baby number two <laughs> we'll see what happens i mean we have no plans yet but i don't think those plans are too far off um so hopefully we will get lucky again and you know my tube that i got had open stays open and i won't have to go through another year of you know not getting pregnant so we'll see we'll see and i'm just excited to share you know motherhood with you guys and um i'm rambling but but i hope you oh if you want to check out the birth vlog we did video some of the birth uh so go i'll put the link in the description we have a family vlogging channel that uh, we like go over you know for the same amount of time i haven't done anything on this channel we haven't done anything on that channel either so um, hopefully we will be doing lots of family videos of Oliver and uh, just different things that we do. So go check that out um, and I hope that you guys enjoyed the video and I will talk to you guys soon.